We are currently anticipating three major endeavors in Haiti. There are two particular orphanages that were made inhabitable, so we're going to make them livable. The children are out sleeping on the ground and the rain season is coming up within a month or so, so we need to get the orphanages habitable for all these little darlings, and that's our first endeavor. And secondly, one of the schools in City Soleil called Terra Promise, all of the schools around this school were destroyed. And so there's a third floor on this school that we're going to put a block up the sides, and then we're going to run two sessions. We'll have a session in the morning, a session in the evening, so we can double the number of students. Obviously, we'll have to double numbers of teachers, as well as the help and support for lunch programs and all of that. But the whole surrounding area of this school, Terra Promise, is just wreckage. And so, with our support, we'll bring in the teachers, we'll build the walls on third floor, and we'll feed the little rascals, and we'll have literally a few more thousand children going to school that currently have no place to go. You know, learning all the things we learned a hundred years ago. Let's check is merely so you can see it, but we have already presented the smaller edition that will go over to the bank, and this 10,000 is only going to be the first of future checks that we'll grease your palm with in the months ahead. This is only start, you know, you plant the seed and then you wait for the little shoots to come out of the ground, right? Well, there'll be lots of shoots. Yes. Beautiful branches, marvelous fruit, and feed our starving children. We'll be on a jet airliner sending wonderful things to Haiti as they do all over the world. Do you know? I don't know any organization that can compete with you, Mark, on all the good you do, the people you feed, and all the lives that you save. You know, we live in such comfort, we live in such luxury, we take for granted a bed at night, toast in the morning and a cup of coffee, they get up to nothing. We have no concept of what starvation is all about. They live it, they endure it, and they move forward. And so the least we can do is hand them a little bit of food, a little bit of water, a little bit of encouragement on the side. You've all seen the devastation in Haiti over the various TV stations, and after you've been there and walked the streets and know that that's real, it's not made up, it's not something concocted in a studio, it's real life, and how they have to live real life. So thanks to feeding our starving children, and we're most grateful also to ABC newspapers you know, you can have the best diamonds in the world, but if people don't know about it, it isn't worth a nickel, right? right? You can have the Hope Diamond in your pocket, but if somebody thinks it's a load of, a handful of gravel, it doesn't help a soul. So ABC is like the beginning of the alphabet in news promulgation, in touching the hearts of thousands and getting them to open their pockets, open their hands, and say, for God's poor. Thanks for all you do. Thank, Thank you, you, Father.